at the end of 12 years of exile in the forest it was time for pandavas and draupadi to come to the real world again one day a brahmin came to seek some help from pandavas Oh, uh, Yudhishthir, I have come here to ask for some help. Like every day, we were performing yajna when a deer came and ran away into a deep forest with my belongings. Dharmaraj, can you please go into the forest and search for that deer? Learn it, sir. I will definitely go and bring back your belongings. As promised to Brahman, The Pandavas went to catch that deer. But even after running behind him, they couldn't succeed in catching him. Soon they were tired and began to feel hungry and thirsty. Extremely exhausted Pandavas sat in the shade of tree. I am very tired. I don't know what's happening. Is this some sort of magic? And this hunger and thirst is almost roasting us. This has never happened to us, brother. Then what's wrong with us today? I don't understand. When the time is not in our favor, understand that God is making us pay for our sins. The God of Dharma decides our sins and virtues. If I had my arrow and bow, we wouldn't have had to face such hardships. I would have gotten him here right away. Oh don't worry brothers this is my task and I will complete it though the situation is difficult but I'm sure we can get over it easily if we are cautious Nakul can you please climb the tree and see if we can find some lake around Nakul immediately climbed up the tree and explained to his brothers <laughs> Brother, guess what? I can see a lot of lakes around. We will definitely get some water to drink. If that's the case, then please get some water for all of us, Nakul. As you say, brother. Thirsty Nakul went running towards the coast of lake to quench his thirst. He went near the lake. As he moved his hand ahead to get some water, he suddenly heard some strange voice. Stop, child! You will have to answer my questions and then quench your thirst. Uh, from where is this voice coming? I think the voice is not real. It's just in my head. I guess I'm hallucinating because of hunger. Nakul ignored that voice but as soon as he drank the water from the lake he fainted Since it was a long time Nakul didn't come back Yudhishthir sent Sahadev to go in search of him Sahadev Nakul is taking longer than he should. Do one thing, go and search for him and get some water for us. Okay, brother. As Sahade went near the lake, he saw Nakul fainted on the ground. He went running towards him and tried to quench his thirst. When he was going to take some water, he heard that strange voice again. <laughs> Stop, son. First, answer my question, and only then you can quench your thirst with water. Even Sir David knows that voice. 
drinks water and faints just like brother Nakul. Yudhishthir got worried and sent Arjun in search of both the brothers. After seeing both the brothers on the floor fainted. He tries to quench his thirst and hears that strange voice again. Arjun, you think you can drink this water without answering my questions? Arjun simply takes his bow and arrow and challenges that strange voice. I dare to come in front and stop me from drinking water. You won't be able to stop me once my arrow pierces your body. Arjun immediately shot the arrow in the direction from the which he heard the voice. Son, why are you getting so anxious? First answer my question and then you can drink as much water as you want to. Arjun also ignores the voice, drinks the water and faints there and then... Listen, Bhim, our brothers haven't returned yet. You go find all of them and bring some water with you. But be careful, all right? Bhim was shocked to see his brothers fainted on the ground. Huh? <laughs> I'm sure some Rakshas must have done this. First, I will quench my thirst and then I'll fight with him. Wait, son. This lake belongs to me. You cannot drink the water until you answer my question. Just like his brothers, Bhim ignores the voice and fades. Yudhishthir decided to go in search of his four lost brothers on reaching the coast of the lake. Yudhishthir gets shocked to see all his brothers laying on the ground. Bhim, what happened to you? You had promised that you will kill Duryodhan with your mace. What happened to that promise, brother? Get up! Yudhishthir went to all his brothers and inspected them carefully. They don't even have a single wound on their body. And there are no weapons around that could give me a clue. As to what happened there, I feel it is some mysterious power that has done this to them. Or was it Duryodhan's move to poison my brothers? I don't think so. Their faces are looking so calm and so happy. Yudhishthir stands near the tree and hears that strange voice again. Your brothers didn't listen to my command. Do you want to be my victim as well? If you drink the water without answering my questions, even you will faint. Who are you? 
Are you some kind of Asur or some kind of devil? It's not that easy to kill my brothers. So I ask you once again, who are you? I am Yaksh, Yudhishthir. You are a Dharmraj by true means. Yudhishthir, I had warned your brothers, but still they decided to ignore my command and drink water. This lake belongs to me. If you answer my question right, only then you can drink water. I am not as knowledgeable as you are, but sire, I shall definitely try to answer all the questions in my capacity. Yakshas get ready to question and Yudhishthir gets ready to answer. The most precious thing in the world is... A mother's love. What makes the sun rise and set? Who is with him always and who makes him function well? Brahma's power rises the sun and Dharma's power sets the sun. The gods are always there with him and they make everything possible. Which is the best blessing one can get? Good health. What is greater than a small atom? Worry is greater even than a small atom. Who is greatest according to you? A mother is the greatest. What is the meaning of care? Showing love and affection to every living organism is care. Who is the greatest person in the world? A mother is the greatest of all. Who is known as an honest person? The one who is truthful to everyone. What is laziness? A person who doesn't perform all his duties. Okay now, tell me, how can you achieve dharma or success, heaven or happiness? Dharma is in caring, success is in donating, truth is the way to heaven, happiness through purity. The most satisfied person on the earth? A debt-free person is the most satisfied person. The speed of what is faster than air? The speed of heart is faster than air. What do you mean by truth? The sun is the truth of the universe. The cycle of day and night is the truth. Human is also a part of this creation and he is also in tandem with the circle of life and death day and night in the universe. What is the most surprising thing? A lot of living beings die every day on this earth. But the ones who are alive think of themselves as immortals. This is the most surprising thing on this earth. Son, you have answered all my questions. So now, choose one among your brothers. I will revive him and make him alive again. Lord Yaksh, I want to save the life of my youngest brother Nakul. I request you to bring him back to life. But isn't Bhim your favorite? Everyone knows that you love Bhim more than Nakul and Sahdev. And Arjun, you require his skills to support you. Then why did you decide to choose Nakul only? Tell me, son. Feelings and reality are two different things, Lord Yaksha. The world praises the one who saves and not the one who kills. I cannot betray them and my parents. My dad has two wives. Mother Kunti and Mother Madhuri. We respect both of them. I am Kunti's elder son, but Mother Madhuri has no one for her. And so I want her to have a son as well. So I request you to bring back Nakul to life. Yudhishthir, you are truly a righteous person and follow the dharma. So I'll bring back all your brothers to life. After this, all the Pandavas slowly woke up like nothing has happened. Oh great visionary, who are you? You can't be the normal Yaksha because Yaksha can never give the boon of life again. Please tell us the truth. Son, I'm your father, Lord Dharma. I came here to meet you. And I'm happy meeting you, my son. I just wanted to test your skills and your emotions. And I must say, you are a man of virtue. Ask me what you wish for. Please bless us to always walk on the path of courage, righteousness and truth. Oh Kunti's son, your father is Dharmraj and you can get 
boon without asking for it ask me something else we have completed our 12 years of exile we still have a year left for the agyatwas bless us to be unrecognized by anybody when we are in agyat consider this done your wish will come true go wherever you want to and no one in this world will able to recognize you you all can go to land of virat for your agyatwas son now you all can leave for the exile i bless with all the happiness the truth is always with you here then please subscribe this channel along with your friends and family enjoy all the videos of magic box magic box english a place to learn lot of good things with happiness don't forget to subscribe